Okay. So uh, we know that uh, we have a tables in MSI for every uh, particular uh, thing which exists in our MSI application for everything. Uh, it even a small thing for everything. There are many tables inside the inside our uh, MSI. Uh, uh, tables. They are 80 plus tables. So uh, obviously it's not possible to learn about 80 plus tables, but the few tables which are very important, which we do it uh, like which we edit it, we can see the changes in that particular tables. So I will be covering all that uh, particular part of the tables. So install shield extend some standard Windows installer tables for increased functionality. Following is a listing of tables affected columns added and descriptions of the data to be placed in the new fields. So these tables uh, either you can uh, go to the property and uh, so, sorry, not property. Either you can see it in the table sections, uh, the direct editor of the table section. So this particular screenshot is of install shield tool. So in the direct editor, if you go, you would be able to see all the tables. So we have everything inside this table files, uh, components, features, shortcut, then media table is there. Then we have uh, uh, we have law, uh, law permissions table, we have services table, registries table, uh, all this table, environment variable table. So whatever the topic also we have covered, all uh, particular uh, thing which we have covered, for everything mostly we have a table. For few it is one, for few it is two, like the services part. For the services we have two tables. So all that uh, I will be covering it today. So uh this uh, the third line is related to the capture part so when we are doing a capture it is something that we are converting exe to msi but between the exe to msi there are many other files which get created and there is a certain stage which we have to follow like after exe dot irp file gets created which is the install shield repackager file then after that the dot ism file cre gets created which is the install shield um, ism stands for uh, i when i forgot let me see irp is the i install shield repackager ism stands for let me see Nimo, you remember what does ISM stands for? It was install shield. Project file or something? I don't know. I would have written somewhere how I forgot. <clears throat> Maybe that is why uh, it is not with the name of M that I am also sure. Let me see it somewhere. I would have written this. I always put it, I always write it and give. I don't know how I forgot. Well, you can Google it, no? Google uh, it is, I am not getting. Okay. There are many things which we do not get it in Google with respect to the packaging part. Oh, maybe it's install shield editor project. Yeah, it's there now. Let me give you all. I always tell it and I don't know how I forgot this time. So it is install shield project file. You were right. First one, I assume. So uh, if you see this one, this is the stages of 
uh, admin studio like if you are capturing via admin studio table uh, via admin studio repackager obviously that is the part of uh, uh, admin studio is the manufacturer and the repackager is the part so first is the exe which is your executable file or we can call it as legacy installer then is the irp which we call this at install shield repackager file then it is the ism which is the install shield project file and after that you get msi which is the microsoft windows installer so this is the particular stages through which we do it <clears throat> so uh, like if i repackager so like it is not necessary that you have to follow all these stages but this is what is suggested you can also do it like this like from the irp when we uh, when we build it actually there is a certain stage uh, in the table it comes we can build it so when we build it we can create it in a certain way that both ism and msi both gets created for all the application if your msi is working fine you think it is fine then you can deliver it but uh, sometimes for few applications uh, we have observed that it doesn't work there will be something uh, missing something happens it throws an error and it doesn't work so in that scenario we should go via this stage which is dot ism and then dot msi this is what is suggested but uh, the time uh, like as you grow with an experience just to make the process faster we do this also so it is not wrong but whenever somebody ask you like how you are going to do a re uh, repackaging always tell this stage that we have to follow this after this is the y studio uh, like previously we used to use the y studio in that it was little different way it was dot exe then dot wsi then dot msi so exe is that only our uh, legacy installer wsi is the y script installer which is created via y studio table and then it is a dot msi which is the microsoft windows installer so i have given all the short forms there is one addition which is msu it is a microsoft windows update file so sometimes we do get a request um, in uh, being a packager only we do get a request that you have to install the update files so i don't know whether you people know about this or not so this are the update files this all are the msu files which is installed it gets automatically installed but there are few things in the organization wherein they want to install this particular msu file then in that case we have to install this msu file so it is very small thing not a big thing just that they will give you the msu file or they will give you the microsoft update uh, catalog link and from there you have to install the msu file and then it gets installed and from here you can see that with the kb number it will be there and then you can see that it is install and then you can do the uninstallation also so this is all are the update files in the installed updates so this all are the few extensions uh, which we should obviously remember but sometimes uh, we do not because like ism it is not at all related with the name of the short form so you can miss it so whenever you are preparing for interview you sh this all will be very helpful for you <clears throat> so this direct editor in the following project type lets you view and edit the tables in your project file ism or while creating mst so <clears throat> the when you are going to create uh, msi file from the dot ism file it will be exactly the same view when you are going to create an mst from a msi exact the same same way the ta tools table open uh, with dot ism file same way it open op gets open with msi also the view is exactly the same addition is also exactly the same no, no changes will be there so these tables can be viewed in install shield direct editor you have to go to direct editor and you would be able to see all the tables in your uh, particular install shield tool 
these are the particular uh, structure of our uh, tables how it is linked to each other because there are many things uh, which are interrelated to each other so this is the whole structure uh, only the thing which is not much related uh, if you if you see this chart is the property which we write like reinstall mode is equal to omios reboot is equal to really suppress all that property uh, obviously it is uh, something which you are going to modify it but it is not related to the file or it is not related to the components which is our structure of msi the structure of the msi is interrelated to everything like file should be there then component uh, inside the component we have files we have folders we have shortcuts we have registries same thing uh, the component will be present inside the featured same thing uh, like uh, we have a directory we create a directory and inside that directory our content will be there which is called as folder so that all will be there and that is how it is interrelated to each other then is the upgrade code upgrade table upgrade table what it does uh, basically if you have an application version 1 same application version 2 you have to upgrade it so you do not have to write a script if you are aware of this upgrade table so via upgrade table certain thing we have to write it these are the particular attributes of the upgrade table which is the upgrade code version minimum version maximum language attributes remove action property so if you are aware of this particular thing it is not very huge it is very simple just that you have to remember few things and you would be able to upgrade your application to the new version this one i will show you in the practical as well so the core table this is the core table the core group consists of tables describing the fundamental features and components of the application and the installer package <clears throat> so uh, before i start it is the structure as per the structure of the uh, table uh, we will go like msi architecture so in the msi architecture first we have a feature table then we have a component after that it is a file folder uh, file registry and shortcuts so first is the feature table what the feature table will contain it will list all the feature belonging to an applications so the feature can be either one also or it can be more than one it will be hardly i have seen for few applications if it is very huge in size obviously it can have multiple but it will be around 4 to 5 or 6 but yes depending upon the application size it can be that it can be more than that features then is the feature components feature component with the term we are going to know that it is linked with feature and the component the combination of the feature and component so it defines the relationship between features and components particular screenshot which i have provided this all are the attributes which is which is present inside the table so the the relationship between feature and component you will be able to see in the feature component tables the feature information will be there and the component information will be there in the feature information you would be able to see the feature and the detailed version of the feature then component table it will list the component and it has the following columns identifies the component record a string guid which is the global globally unique identify unique to its component version and language as i already explained in the component when i was explaining that it will have a unique guid so let's see with an example so this is feature for this particular remote desktop we have only one feature so if you can see that few sections are empty that will not matter anything to our application functionality it does not matters whether it is filled or not so this is particularly the feature the feature name is the product feature if i go to feature components you will be able to see this feature product feature and the component assigned assigned to this particular features so these are the features feature is only one in this particular application but component can be n number of components so this all are the components if you are able to see this all components are present inside the feature because we know that component uh, feature is a collection of component 
see this many components are there then i will show you the component the same component which you are able to see here the same component will be listed here just that we would be also able to see the component guid this is the component this is the component id which is called a guid i'll show you for other application also let's see how many features are there in this one feature yeah for this one also there is a one feature let me see if i can show you any application with more than one feature yeah see for power bi we have three features if you see safe odbc drivers all odbc drivers and then this is the power bi so main feature is our power bi and then this two particulars are the parent feature you can see also it is mentioned feature parent power bi so always uh, it will be created in a such a way that the first will be power bi and inside that feature we have a sub feature so this safe odbc drivers and all odbc drivers are the child uh, child feature and power bi is the parent feature and that is why it is mentioned here then if you see in the feature components we would be able to see all these three features so this you can see for the safe odbc drivers we have this many components then we have all odbc drivers and then we have a power bi so this many it has because we know that power bi application size is almost greater than 2 gb and that is the reason it has a multiple feature not the reason i will say but it is designed in a such a way that it has many component more number of components more number of files folders uh, registries and shortcut obviously the uh, application size will also get increased because the content is high um the view in the orca table is little uh, bit i will say not good as compared to the uh, in as compared to the install shield uh, i will give you uh, the link to both of you to install the install shield trial version uh the trial was in i think it was previously 21 days but as much as i remember now it has been decreased to 14 days so i will give you the link you have to just download it via link but do not download it now because the day you will download it the trial version will get started so you would not be able to do the practice so once uh, i will be teaching you the msi mst i will tell you the people i will tell you both of you to uh, either any one of you to share the screen so that i will guide you and you would be only creating the mst so uh i think uh, if all the topics will be covered today whatever the technical terms are there then we can start it from tomorrow then download then keep it uh, like download it in the early morning and from tomorrow we will start so that you people can get at least 14 or 15 days whatever the time duration is there so that you people can practice it so this is the link you do not have to register let me okay let me so few links i i will give you to you people so you wanted to have this cm trace na i'll give you few links to you people save it if you want to so the first bscdt is also like <clears throat> free of cost yeah it's free of cost just that the version get upgraded within i think 4 to 5 or 6 months it gets it keeps on getting upgraded the version <clears throat> 
So uh, the first is the link of the PSADT that you can download. Uh, no worries with the license trial version and all that. That is completely free. You can download CM Trace. Uh, first, uh, first one is the uh, like if you in your organization, uh, if your machine ha has been configured as per the SCCM, then you would be able to see it here. Otherwise, this is the second link from where you can download free of cost. Then is the admin studio. There are two links. One link you have to register and the other link you do not have to register. So I will give you uh, the link which, where you do not have to register. It will automatically download the exe file. I think this one is. From here, you can directly download it. Okay. Yes. But download it tomorrow. Do, do, don't download it today so that you can get more and more time. So, this is the link yes. for Admin Studio. You do not have to register and all. As per the requirement, you have to register it via your uh, organization uh, mail, not even your normal mail. It should be your organization mail, and then the Flexera will. <clears throat> drop you a mail with the link and then you have to download it. This is how it is basically done. But obviously the trial version before it was 20 word days, but now I have heard it has been reduced. Uh, uh, is it uh, visible to give the uh, ID of our organization? They will not have any uh, security questions or kind of. They can have. <clears throat> it depends upon organization to organization. They can have. That is the reason. I gave you the direct 